Hey guys, SuperGadgetHack here. Um, this is my iPad mini uh, Retina with the T-Mobile 4G LTE. And um, I love this thing. It's great. It's fantastic. But this is not a review video of this for this device um, at the moment. Um, let's see. I've been using it without a case for about a week or so. Um, and um, I still feel a little uncomfortable even though I'm extra careful with this. So I bought a case. Um, it is on sale. I bought it from Amazon. It's $14. I went to the Apple store. Um, either the cases are extremely heavy or uh, they're very expensive. They run, you know, $50, $30. And this, uh, according to Amazon's website, it retails for $49.99 or $39.99, but it's 14 bucks. Yeah, I can live with that. Um, so as you can see, this is from a company called Rucase, uh, Origami Slim Shell. That's a very interesting design for the uh, the stand. Uh, how do I open this without ripping it? I guess I have to rip it. Okay. So it has a really soft um, matte finish. Uh, this cover and it's a sort of black they have different colors um, apparently this one's the cheapest at the time so I'm like well <clears throat> you know my whole attempt of moving away from <coughs> black color um, so I bought the white uh, color mini but I'm um, still not with a black case yes the 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 screen needs to be cleaned um, and it's a magnetic case, so, and what's interesting is the the shape of the uh, cover, so, okay, how would I fold it? So you fold it like that, okay, I'm not very good at origami, just, uh, so, you can do it like this, okay, how about this direction, I guess you can do it like that, so, Okay, just pinch, I guess like that. There's also this way, and then there's the, this way. So there's different ways of folding it, and that's just interesting, I mean it's only 15 bucks. And it has a minor protection, lightweight. It's pretty light. Um, someone online says it's a little bit heavier than the Apple Smart Case, but and it feels really good. I mean, definitely offers some. You don't have to worry about scratching the back. It's nice, and they offer in this many different colors: so it's red, pink, purple, blue, black, dark blue, whatever. So 15 bucks. I mean. Before the iPad era, I think that's a lot for a case. Uh, but now it's like with Apple inflating the price of everything. So I guess 15 bucks, not bad. And the camera is still exposed. You can still use that, the microphone. So definitely works really well. This is compatible with both first generation and second generation iPad mini. So basically the Retina version and the non-Retina version works with this. And what it, I've noticed is that it lacks magnets on the back. So it doesn't stay, but it's pretty firm. So even if you just hold it like with one hand, it does stay open. And yep, the magnet on this and certainly works a lot better. And all the buttons are fully exposed. So um, it's a nice nifty little case. I certainly wouldn't pay more than twenty dollars for it because um, you know I wouldn't. Uh, it, just a case. So there you have it. Um, let me know uh, what you think and um, let me know what you guys do with the fingerprint issue. It's definitely getting worse. I don't know if it's because I didn't have a case on or it would be better now, but I don't remember being this bad with the fingerprint. And um, so um, let me know if there are any questions. Uh, if you do, post in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you.